A beautiful smile is the paramount objective of all patients seeking orthodontic therapy. After all, it's the beauty of the smile which will make a difference between acceptable and pleasing aesthetic results. The impact of aesthetics is phenomenal, not only from orthodontic perspective, but also from the perspective of finding a job as revealed from another article published in American Journal of Orthodontics. A team approach is normally required for synchronizing various dental specialities with orthodontics to resolve aesthetic problems predictably. Hence the aim of this case report is to demonstrate one such situation wherein multidisciplinary approach was used for enhancing orthodontic aesthetics. A 22 years old female reported to our department with a complaint of irregular teeth. Clinical and radiographic examination revealed class 1 molar relationship with retrocline upper and lower incisors. Closer examination of the dentition demonstrated peg shaped upper right lateral incisor which was leading to an aesthetic smile. In the mandibular arch, crowding was seen with lingually placed lower right lateral incisor. Lower right central incisor on clinical examination and palpation presented with relatively thin labial cortical bone. The patient presented with a good soft tissue trip and a pleasing profile. The treatment plan was non-extraction. It was decided to relieve crowding in the maxillary and the mandibular arches and attain normal overjet and overbite by proclination of upper lower incisors. An aesthetic peg lateral incisor was to be built up to its normal mesiodistal dimension using composite restoration. A full thickness periodontal graft was planned for the lower right central incisor which had labial cortical plate very thin to begin with. After initial leveling and aligning, the patient was referred to a restorative dentist. These are before and after built up photographs of the upper right lateral incisor. As predicted earlier, the lower right central incisor showed gingival recession. A full thickness graft was the modality of choice to correct gingival recession. To begin with, vestibular plasty was done under local anesthesia in order to reduce the strain on the graft which was to be placed. After 10 days, the patient was recalled back and a full thickness graft from the palate was removed and placed over the mandibular central incisor. The graft took up really well as it is evident in the last photograph taken post healing. A full thickness graft is always better as compared to a partial thickness graft because of various advantages which it offers. These are the post treatment photographs of the patient. A class 1 molar and a class 1 canine was achieved with a well settled occlusion. The impact of aesthetics is evident from the smiling photograph of the patient. These are the stage wise comparison of the patient. Pre treatment with the peg lateral incisor. After build up of the lateral incisor with gingival recession of the mandibular central incisor. Post healing of full thickness graft placed in the mandibular right central incisor. And post debonding with well settled occlusion. To conclude with, understanding the hierarchy of aesthetics is an important aspect of dental and orthodontic treatment. A multidisciplinary approach is the modality of choice to enhance post-treatment aesthetics of the patient.